on the paper today is an African lion. Um, I'm kind of in a cat mode right now, so I thought I'd try something a little bit different. So let's do a little tutorial here, but before we get to it, we're going to talk about lions and give you a few lion facts here. Lions are the only cats that live in groups. A group, or pride, can be up to 30 lions depending on how much food and water is available. Female lions are the main hunters. While they're out looking for food, the males guard the pride's territory and they're young. A lion's roar can be heard up to 8 kilometers away. Lions scent mark their territory using their we to create a border. Uh, African lions are mostly found in sub-Saharan Africa. They used to be found all over Africa, but now they have been mostly disappeared from North Africa and are at risk for extinction in West Africa. Lions live in savannas and grasslands where some cover and plenty of water can be found. What do lions eat? Lions hunt for food every few days. They will feed from their kill and the rest uh, until they hunt again. We uh, follow this pattern in zoos as our lions, not my lions, uh, have two they have two starved days out of seven. They usually kill medium-sized mammals such as zebra, deer, and wildebeest. They often eat animals which have been killed by another hunter such as a hyena. At Folly Farm, which I stole this from, we feed our lion chunks of meat. We also give them whole dead animals to eat. It is good for them to eat the whole animal as the fur, skin, and bones give their teeth a good clean. It also helps with enrichment, which means getting our animals to act as if they would in the wild. Now, back to my picture here. It looks like I've been penciling in with my 2B as a boy pencil, uh, putting in some uh, fur, and I, I got this little trick I stole from a, a painting channel on how to draw the fur uh, to give it a little bit of texture. And I'll go over that with paint later. It kind of shows through, so um, it makes the picture more interesting. And, I, and, and with this picture, I kind of want to be stylistic. I was not even trying to make it look horribly real. So I took a lot of just fun fun with it and did some um, pen work and some line work I would not normally do. Maybe in a way that's actually a better thing. Because uh, to make art, I think you have to interpret your, your art. And uh, here we go. I'm putting the ink wash. First layer ink wash. I'm following my reference, which is just off camera to the top of the page, to make sure I get all my lights and darks correct. The, the nose of this thing I, it was a little bit darker than I thought it would be. Uh, I kept looking at the reference to make sure I got it didn't go too dark and make sure you can still see all those little crosshatch lines in there. Um, but African lions are, for the most part, brown. Uh, they're not horribly uh, interesting as far as patterns go. Uh, it's, it's kind of like a brown dog, I don't know. So I put some, some stripes into it that probably didn't belong there. I, I kind of tire striped my lion a little bit. But, you know, I'm an artist. I can do what I want. You know, if somebody wants to hang this in their bathroom or something, they can have a lion with some tiger stripes in it. But the nose of this thing was, was actually pretty dark. Uh, when I was watching the video just before I did this uh, voiceover, I thought maybe I did it too dark. But looking at the reference photo, it's pretty much dead on. Um, there's probably some reason why lions have dark noses. So um, I'm putting in... Uh, second layer ink wash, a little bit darker. I'm defining some edges here, doing some contrast stuff because you don't want my, your picture to look too blah. You don't want it to look all the same. At least I don't want mine to look all the same. I want there to be some contrast in it. So I'm doing some, I'm darkening down a few of the hairs and it's just really, this is really a caricature cartoony style. I mean, uh, I just wanted to try something different here. I wasn't trying to make this thing photo real by any stretch. So I'm adding some interesting lines for fur, which I come back to later. And now I'm just putting in a real light wash on the pupils, a little bit of white wash around the, the well, you call it a mascara, not mascara, but eyeliner type thing. I don't know. It surrounds the eyes. But I come back and I uh, do the eyes all over. I'm putting a little bit of a uh, shadow there, a little shadow on the nose, a little shadow on his little under his mouth, well, top of his mouth. Um, adding this, adding that. So um, maybe we can go back here and take a look at some more facts here. It says, what is a group of lions called? The name of, for a group of lions is a pride. What noise do lions make? Both male and female lions roar. They usually start off with a few long, deep roars, followed by shorter, faster ones. 
Lions also make other noises. They meow, hiss, and snarl like domestic cats, but louder. Do all lions look the same? Male lions are much bigger than females, and they have large manes or hair which covers the head and neck and stretches underneath to their belly. Lion cubs have light spots uh, where their fur, on their fur when they are born. These fade when they grow up and help camouflage or hide them when they're young. Uh, let's see, how many types of lions are there? Well, there's a bunch. You ready? Barbary, Asiatic, West African, Mazaya or Mazai, Congo, Southwest African, Transvaal with two A's, and Ethiopian. And how long do lions sleep for? Lions are the laziest of all big cats and can sleep for 16 to 20 hours a day. Uh, how many babies can they have? A lioness usually gives birth to, to between one to four lion babies. Uh, that's interesting. What are we back here in the video? What are we doing? Oh, I put in color on. And my burnt number actually matched the uh, lion pretty good. I didn't have to do much to it, but just add some water to it and thin it down. Um, this is the underpainting style. So all of my pencil lines are going to show up through this. Uh, it's kind of a cheap and easy way to do texture. And I suggest everybody try it because it, it's it's... It, it, it will make your painting much easier. Uh, why would you not want to do this? I don't know. But if you put your, your, your pencil lines in first, reasonably dark. Oh, here I'm putting a little bit of highlight right there. Uh, I mixed a little bit of white, but not much. Now I'm going to go through and add some of these little lighter colored burnt upper um, areas to the fur to kind of give it some more texture, some more highlights, like, you know, kind of like went to the Lion Beauty Salon and got just some highlights done. Because um, this lion, well, it's a male lion, so it's probably not be, going to be going to a, a beauty pageant. But um, I'm adding some more whites here, making it variegated. Is that the right word? I think we use the word variegated on plants, but maybe you can variegate a lion as well. Oh, guys, before I put that, oh, here comes the eyes. I decided to make his eyes red. Lion's eyes are not red, but my lion's eyes are red. So because of that, I'd like for you to like and subscribe and hit the button so you can come back and see me do this again. If you made it this far, you know you're going to want to see more. And I have 141 videos now. And if you want to keep on seeing what I put out, uh, hit the button and follow me and share this and all kinds of stuff. And leave comments. Comments, comments, comments. I got one fan who leaves a comment a lot and a couple that leaves a few. But I love to re read what you guys have to say. I want to know if you guys try this underpainting or if, if you just watch this for the um, entertainment value. I mean, I don't watch it to learn. I watch it for the entertainment value because I think it's fun to watch. Uh, like I said before, I watch um, videos of people doing stuff I would never do, like wood turning and, and making sculptures and stuff. And I don't do that stuff, but I love to watch people do it. So I think it's kind of cool to watch somebody paint and different styles, you know, and I, I watch painting videos all the time. I see lots of oil painters, a lot of acrylic painters, a lot of water, watercolor painters, but I don't see anybody who does what I do with the underpainting technique. So like and subscribe, like and subscribe, and I'm going to cite my name, Keith Trim, and thank you for coming.